So Pokemon cards have been really hard to come by nowadays. The hype is insane right now at the beginning of 2021 and it's still impossible to find cards in stores whether it be local game stores or big retailers like Target and Walmart. It's just you got to be there right when people are stocking up right and even at uh, higher prices inside the LGS's the local game stores things are still selling out. So I got two ways to really enjoy Pokemon cards and to be able to get Pokemon cards that you want. Uh, one thing we got to do before we talk about those strategies is that uh, we got to prep your mind, right? You don't have to have the best cards. You don't have to have all the Charizards to enjoy Pokemon. I know that's what the, that's what everything is about right now, the ultimate chase cards, and and that's fun and all. Uh, I I agree. Do it. Join in the in the fun. But like deep down inside, you do have a favorite Pokemon card, whether that is a Charizard or Pikachu, Blastoise, you know or like a Rayquaza, that's cool, go for those cards, but for me, my expectations are a little lower, I don't know, it's just because I, I had favorite Pokemon growing up, and it weren't, it wasn't those cards, so like, to be honest with myself, I went and bought my, my uh, favorite Pokemon, Pokemans, right, and I'll, I've got two ways to do that, so way number one is to go to your local game stores, these are very obvious, right, but sometimes you might need a reminder, this is a local game store that's kind of further away from the cities and not as popular as all the ones that are easily accessible and i feel like they're lesser known so i went in there and they had a bunch of cards in the display so i bought i bought really really good cards for my personal collection that are really cheap so look at this sand slash this is 75 cents from a fossil the fossil set which is super old um this came out right after the base set right 1999 so 75 cents for a pokemon that i really enjoy and it's in really good condition um that's that's really awesome look at this the condition of that barely any whiting whitening which is really really rare for an old card um but yeah 75 cents right not bad at all next card kakuna if you've been watching my if you've been watching my my videos you might have noticed that i'm really into kakunas and this is something new to me, just because I I, I realized how fun it is to say, uh, what's in the name right here, Kak, Kakuna. It's 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 my cack, man. Like, yeah, I got I got three, I got three of my cacks, and I'm also doing a Kakuna binder, my book of cacks right here, right. So I will add these in. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a little like a little gag joke that i have but it's fun this is all this is what it is about for me just having fun um and kakuna gives me a lot of fun especially uh pulling them too and then we have magikarp which i love gyarados and magikarp and these were 99 cents team rocket the team rocket set a uh, very old set too so and i love the artwork for for those old sets especially the team rockets all the dark pokemon I just I just like it so 99 cents man that's that's for two of them not bad not bad at all next card we have a Kadabra if you know anything about Kadabra you know that they haven't made Kadabra cards in like what 15 to 20 years since the beginning because the one magician dude you know I guess he had like rights to the 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 phrase Kadabra Abracadabra whatever and they just wouldn't let Pokemon the guy just wouldn't let Pokemon make Kadabra cards for all these years. But the cool part is that he he just finally lifted that ban. So now Pokemon can go back in and make Kadabra cards. That means Abras, Kadabras, and Alakazams may rise in popularity again. And um, yeah, so I bought two of them. 99 cents each, which is, in my opinion, that's a steal for this old card. It doesn't have to be holographic as long as it has some kind of special meaning it's it's a nice card to get and then after watching this video you're going to be able to guess my favorite pokemon if you can't i don't know what to say i got magmar this is a base set magmar just uh, unlimited with the shadow a dollar 25 and for me it's just about collecting what i like right i don't need the best cards they don't make ultimate they don't make like really cool magmar cards uh, they're just mostly common cards or or, or uncommon cards, right? Two dollars fifty cents, and then we have the fossil magmar that I used to use in the trading card game a lot for Game Boy Color, 
way back and I still play it I still played it in 2020 uh, on my phone with a game Game Boy Color em emulator which is really fun it, ha it has like really good attacks in my opinion really slow kill for your opponent because you uh, they there's a chance they can't attack if they flip a coin and get tails and then you could poison them at the same time which is really nice 50 cents 50 cents 50 cents 50 cents and then you have this one 25 cents this one's a little bit newer um, although it's not new at all it's it is years and years old now I forgot what set this is from but just the artwork on that is so cool like I just enjoy it so 25 cents and then we have 99 cents base set 2 right so this is this is just the stuff I enjoy just magmar cards my favorite Pokemon I recently discovered my I rediscovered my love for magmar after watching Charizard versus magmar when Ash challenged Blaine for the fire badge gym or the, on top of the volcano whatever the badge is called I don't know but yeah magmar is my favorite Pokemon 75 cents like that's so good 75 cents for very very good condition like um does it even yeah it doesn't get any better than that buying my favorite pokemon for there's a lot of whitening here but that's to be expected for 75 cent card and this old 20 years old that's way number one to get your favorite pokemon or to have fun with pokemon you can kind of see how fun that is for me just to look at these because they bring back a lot of memories and they are my favorite Pokemans, uh, especially these, these, these cacks right here. Uh, that yeah, way number one is just support your local game stores. If you can form good relationships with good owners, then you can get, you know, deals once in a while. Maybe you can find things that are like hidden gems, like I just did for my own personal collection. Okay, way number two is just to buy them from eBay, just to buy them online. Uh, I, I found that maybe eBay is my favorite way to buy cards. I never buy from TCG, really. I just don't because you don't get to see the actual card. Um, and uh, what's the other one? Facebook Marketplace. People just overprice their stuff. Like people on Facebook Marketplace don't don't know what they're doing. They don't. They don't. Res a lot of them don't research the cards, and they just throw up whatever price they want. Like. These cards that I have here will probably be three times the price if I if I look on Facebook, and it's just not worth trying to negotiate all the time. So that's a little tip there, um, if you're selling or buying, yeah, just just know what you're selling and buying. So obviously these are going to be Magmars, all Magmar cards, and I spent, yeah, I spent about fifteen bucks for all this. I think I got some other stuff. I got my brother some cards too. So yeah, like around fifteen bucks. Um, so, which is not bad at all for a personal collection and then just a bunch of magma cards for my collection these are going to fill my binders my my personal collection binders which i i get them just because i love the, the design of magmar the story behind magmar he's a lava pokemon that, that lives in the lava and the artwork is just so cool i just like it i always liked him more than charizard yeah this was my preferred for fire pokemon really and uh Look how many copies I got. It's it's really cheap. It's just a regular uncommon. This one's a common, but most of the Magmars are uncommon. Just a common card. And then this one, Reverse Hollow. Uh, I forgot what this is from. Dragons Exalted, something like that. Yeah, I don't even know the sets because they're kind of older now. Magmar here again, Reverse. And this one's from Hidden Fates, I think. Yeah, Hidden Fates. Just I just like them. Just my favorite Pokemon. And then we have a base set here. Base set, if you notice, the language is different. If you can see that right there. Focopungo. Focopugno. Uh, is this French? I don't know. Lancia Fiamme. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got a French and a Spanish. But I'm not sure. Focopungo. Foc, foc, Focopungo. Pugno. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for... Whoever sold this for the seller for padding the card nicely. And then we have more base set Magmars, which is very nostalgic for me. And we have another base set, first edition, Spanish. I think this is the Spanish one. Puño Fuego. Fuego means hot or fire, right? I don't know. 
it's been a long time since sophomore year but puño puño fuego yeah if i'm wrong tell me how to say that i don't know if, how you're going to tell me through through text because it's going to be the same thing anyways but yeah and then these these are the ones i'm really excited about the black star promo magmars from 19 let's say it says 1995 to 2000 so this probably came out in 2000 yeah just two of those in, in really good condition too you can see the backs really good condition which i really appreciate that someone or there are people out there that thought ahead enough to keep their cards in really con good condition because when i was a kid i had base set cards and i didn't give a crap about keeping them safe i just knew that i wanted to play with them i wanted to show them off and i wanted to show people right as a kid and i we didn't know any better but i was able to snatch these for a good price i don't remember how expensive but i don't think i spent more than ten dollars on one like one lot like one one set so yeah got a bunch of cards i like for my personal collection and i know you can do the same too doesn't depends what what your favorite pokemon is if you're only chasing charizards then yeah you're gonna spend a lot of money but it'll be worth it though right if you're if you're uh if you like cheap pokemon like me then you can have a lot of fun in this hobby because there are a lot of cheap cards remember they're just pieces of cardboard look how thin that is <laughs> they're just pieces of cardboard um and that's that's pretty much it just two ways support your local game store and buy it online just look at the the cards make sure they're in good good condition and buy it that's pretty much all there is to it and you can get things for really cheap i got these less than a hundred dollars i think ninety dollars for all this and this is going to go to my personal collection that i will keep for a long long time enjoy the hobby enjoy the game these are really obvious tips but maybe you just needed a reminder or just to see someone else do it i don't know or maybe you're brand new to the hobby you're not really sure uh what to get uh, just just look for the pokemon that you know pokemon that you remember and search them out a really good website to go to is poke collector pokey collector poke collector and you can look up your pokemon um by set you can just browse through their whole like all the sets from today all the way down to the first set in english and japanese so you can look at what cards are in each set and just like pinpoint the ones you want and go buy those yeah and they even they even give you estimated estimated prices so thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe if you like my videos it helps my videos get shown to more people so uh, please help that out i do give free cards every week this week we're giving out a free vivid voltage pack which is right here the silly b pack i'm gonna gonna do that soon so every week i try to give things away back to the pokemon community just because this is a good community don't spoil it don't destroy the community it's going good right now the hype is is there it's growing and i like to see more more people get in i got back in after a long 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 hiatus and it feels really good to do this in my adulthood <laughs> it's okay to do it as an adult it's fun like now that we have more money as grown-ups we can spend like like i just did 90 bucks on cards and not feel bad about it or not have to beg someone for the money so cool thanks thanks for watching and uh pullout game was strong today because i got all my favorite stuff yeah